and thank you everyone for having me here. And I'm so happy that I will be also represented in my country and also the sector I am working with. Uh, my topic, uh, it will be a little bit different. Okay, and maybe it's not, uh, I'm not going to talk more about uh, chronic disease in details, but I'm touching uh, such an important things, a main factor of uh, preventing the chronic disease, especially in Saudi Arabia and GCCs. So our title will be, it's a physical activity milestone improvement uh, opportunities for the vision 2030. Uh, so as we know, um, now in Saudi Arabia, they are need, very, very, very need to have a health transformation. So, uh, toward this health, health, tra health uh, transformation, uh, sorry, is my face available? I thought I, sorry, I forgot my camera. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I think I have some something wrong. Okay, if you never mind, I don't share my video, it's, uh, it's fine. Uh, so let's start with the physical activity. Physical activity is a health uh, behavior, uh, it's well recognized, uh, it, it will recognize for its role uh, to promote the health and prevention of disease. Um, you know, a healthy population is, uh, is very important to have for a wider success of Saudi Arabia's visions. Uh, as we all know, the physical activity is that the main uh, physical inactivity is uh, Hello? Physical inactivity and sedentary lifestyle are associated with many undesirable like health outcomes, like weight gains, obesity, less favorable like met metabolic disease, insulin resist, and type two uh, disease, uh, diabetic. Uh, the kingdom, okay, has uh, witnessed in the recent decent in uh, enormous uh, economic development accompanied by modernizations. Lifestyle transformation rapidly and the demographic also change. And uh, among the female population, and among uh, female population in particular, recent researches shows nearly 78% of Saudi adult women and 78 of Saudi adults female were inactive. Indeed, the physical, uh, the physical inactivity alone is reported to be responsible for 99% uh, of global premature, premature mortality. Okay, it's also caused more than, uh, than 5.3 million death annually. Uh, physical inactivity also, it's been uh, a reason or a a, a, a very strong, a very uh, important responsibility of uh, considerable economic burden worldwide. Among like uh, 53.8 billion in 2013. Okay, here we can find some statistics from the national survey of uh, conducting from MOH, Ministry of Health, that shows the, the physical activity among male and female. Here, these two tables, if it's, you can see them, it uh, shows the significant uh, difference between uh, physical activity among uh, men and women. And it surely shows the female here, this, this is a statistic has been conducted by I think 2016. Before the, uh, like maybe the, uh, before the new studies come here, there is the evidence in studies for females physical activity. It's uh, very fragmented, very low. Uh, inequality. So nobody capturing the female improvements. They know nobody capturing the changes has been done here in the culture. Now, a lot of of uh, the rules and policies has been changed in Saudi Arabia. So in for that, the impact uh, of uh, the women's health is being improved, not significantly, but 
it's improved. So there are some factors associated with physical activity in Saudi Arabia and also in the Gulf uh, region. It's major, majority of them, uh, the barrier related to the social, uh, culture, environments also, uh, the weather, also the pandemic of the COVID-19, it has a significant change and a significant uh, low in physical activity during the lockdown. And um, for that, I had written a paper of uh, the health belief model, like how to understand what's the, in theoretical framework, what's the uh, factors, what's the elements that associated with physical inactivity and preventing the improvements. Uh, as we mentioned before, like we have lack of social support. Uh, it's sometimes, it's not a social support like uh, from preventing mom and uh, mom and dad preventing their daughters. No, it's become the fear of the crime of uh, overprotecting. So even if the facilities is there, they're not allowing their daughters or young uh, like um, adults to go and participate uh, the physical activity, whatever kind of sport, cycling, walking, jogging. Also the culture, a little bit here, we have some restriction from the jogging and uh, like running, by, uh, having a bicycle in open areas. Yes, we have it here, but in special areas only for uh, to, to, uh, to, to use and to participate there not usual in your, in your uh, neighborhood. So this is kind of uh, some cultural uh, and social determinants that prevent having uh, uh, a regular phys physical activity. M maybe once in a while they, they can go there and uh, practice it. Uh, also, there is another factors. It's the age and the income. Some here also, I think it's maybe in a worldwide, I don't know, but from here in, in GCC, also in Saudi Arabia, we have this significant difference also between the gym fees between male and female. So if the male have this all opportunity for to sign up for one year with less amount than the female, the females or the ladies in gym, they have to maybe to pay like twice or double or triple the price of that of the gym from the same gym, the same operating gym, male and the female. Uh, also, they have also the poor health. Some also people like uh, afraid. We have an elderly, so they are sometimes afraid to from injury, afraid from uh, getting uh, uh, more sick. They have kind of this uh, understanding, if you are sick, get relaxed. So this is uh, like in, uh, in brief, some of the factors associated with physical inactivity. Okay, now after we having an overall like view on understanding what's our current situation, there are some opportunities to enhance our physical activity. It's all well known, like if you ask anyone, it's been here in our education, in our, uh, in our schools, the influence about uh, the physical activity. However, there is some initiatives uh, here and there scattered <laughs> around the kingdom to trying to improve the healthy lifestyle, but it's not been documented. Uh, maybe in documented like uh, sometimes in the newspaper, but not a well research. So if you start research now, you will find the numbers of physical inactivity among women, among the chronic disease because of the physical inactivity among women is still kind of the same. It's not changing. I do believe these numbers will be changed uh, if, uh, if, if there is more research for uh, the current situation now because there is a lot of initiatives ha happening here. But before we, uh, we move on, I want to give an overview about the kingdom's uh, vision. Uh, so the, um, is the, I just want to know if the picture is all clear or should I maximize it? Okay. Uh, one of uh, the kingdom vision is to, uh, they have three level of objective. One of them, 
is to enhance a social rep uh, responsibility. They want to go from a passive like community to uh, uh, like uh, active from sickness to prevention. Okay, uh, they want a healthy people, healthy lifestyle. They want also to have uh, a, a responsible like individuals. So they had established a bunch of uh, programs. And if you can see here, rather than the health, they have the quality of life program, which is focusing on also on uh, the health uh, outcomes. They have also the, uh, the health sector, also the tourism. So they all, all this all uh, uh, program has been created to enable it to enable having the healthy population that it will be uh, having a, a preventing disease, which will achieve the, uh, the, healthy, uh, the, healthy, uh, the healthy kingdom. Okay, here we have some initiative, uh, like in, as, as we, I had mentioned before, there is a measure of initiative uh, for health promotion uh, being conducted to the country. So it's just like uh, we have uh, many organization or sector. We have like uh, Minister of Health, Minister of Education, Minister of Sport, Urba Urban Design, Environment, Minister of Environment and Mis Ministry of Transport and Minister of Tourism. And here the most top 10 to be like we recognized initiative I, I'm sure there is a lot of things have happened, but because just uh, of lack of reporting, uh, it's not captured. So this is my, this is what I have found as uh, the best thing. So the healthy uh, city initiatives and the uh, Ministry of Health initiatives, uh, you can see here the Minister of Health, then later the Minister of Education come at the second, uh, at the second. Uh, Minister of Health had put uh, much efforts to prevent uh, the chronic disease and encourage the healthy lifestyle. So uh, I will go, on ex go over the them one by one, so it will be more clear. The healthy uh, city initiatives. Uh, it's uh, it was first presented by the world. Uh, like by WHO in the Eastern Mediterranean region. And it's, it was introduced in Saudi Arabia in 1999. Uh, so basically the, the program is support the range of activities, uh, including the health promotion, environment health issues, safe and friendly street, um, also the communities for walking, uh, as well as skills, skills uh, development for women and youth. The main challenge, as we have here in a healthy city program in Saudi Arabia, is the rapid urbanizations and the population growth. So, like the expand here, they start expanding in the neighborhoods in the in uh, in the cities without making the neighborhood or the place more uh, suitable for uh, for practicing physical activity. Like in every block, it's supposed to have like at least one park or one small garden. This has not been put in, in consider in majority of uh, the, uh, in majority of the, uh, like in the blocks or neighborhoods. Yes, the, we have some differentiate between uh, an area and area. Sometimes they are focusing in one area uh, and they put all the effort there and like kind of forgetting the, the the previous uh, neighborhood has been established first. So when they want to improve and they want to build a new neighborhood, they put the high standard there without fixing the previous one. So now they are recognized that, and this is done by uh, uh, Ministry of uh, Municipalities. Uh, a healthy citizen is the first step toward a healthy city. So they start to recognize that. So they start a, a commendation, uh, uh, have the Riyadh uh, uh, marathons. So one day for like a female and what the other day was for a male. Uh, 
it was like surprisingly uh, uh, that we found that a lot of people, majority of, like and a lot of youth are joining there. So it was a very positive, uh, like very positive uh, uh, thing to have. Uh, Ministry of Education initiative. Uh, they have a lot of uh, Ministry of Education, a lot of uh, a lot of sport and uh, physical activity program in Saudi Arabia in the public school, also in a private. But unfortunately, it was only specific for men or for boys. Recently, in 2018, the, it was approved to uh, have a, a sport and uh, physical activity lessons or, or classes and fitness classes to a female. This is regarding the, the, the previously how it's uh, only for boys, not for girls. It's not about law, it's about the culture. So even though when the Minister, the Minister of the Education announced it, we have a lot of families rejecting this. They didn't accept their daughters to play uh, football or have some fitness uh, classes. So it took them a time like to do the change management. Uh, the municipalities initiatives, after they recognize uh, there is no place and a lack of resource and the reachable for uh, uh, for the citizen or also anyone sitting living here. Uh, so they start creating more parks, walking trials, a community a community uh, re uh, recreational spaces in Riyadh, for example, also in Jeddah. So they have a mega parks like a, a provisioning walking track uh, with a high quality uh, of, uh, of the services. Um, so also they provide uh, a free space with some sport uh, recreation facilities for people, for all people at all ages. Uh, of course, they have to make sure uh, a kind of cool places to outdoor and indoor uh, places to, to, uh, to practice physical activity, uh, especially because in the summer, we our heat, it reached can 45 uh, Celsius. So we saw also for some people who are uh, not able to pay for the, uh, for the gym because of the high price, they start using the the malls in uh, to uh, to uh, to walk there. Then some of those uh, owners of the mall they recognized that, so they made a trial inside the mall, so like a like a truck walking truck to help the people are also uh, practicing physical activity. It's like an initiative for them. So uh, this is also to be like uh, uh, recognized, but also not documented. Here are some changes on uh, the way the road has been designed. Uh, with the, in, the, so, uh, in the park, um, the, beside, the, beside the beach, or even between the neighborhoods. Uh, also, the high commission of development in Riyadh had been established to make sure to support the, minister, uh, the Ministry of uh, Municipalities to make sure also Riyadh city, it will be one of the healthier city and the smart city. So they are working now in many, many of initiatives like the longest trial in uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, with uh, all the facilities there. Also, one of the like one of the kind of the initiatives uh, is Saudi Arabian Olympic Committee and Sport uh, uh, Federations. Over over the years, the Saudi Arabian Olympic Committees has been take, uh, ha has been keen on the organization of many events, including those uh, interesting for mass uh, participation. Uh, now, uh, after folk in the Olympic uh, Committee now, they, they opened also the door for a female to participate on, uh, on the sports and different sports like in volleyball, uh, 
and also football and other uh, and more than which is they used to participate but outside Saudi Arabia now they change and they have the opportunity to host it here and to participate more one of the most big initiatives also it called al harak baraka mean movement is a blessing it, it, between 2005 and 2006, a collaborative efforts between a public university, like one of the biggest uh, uh, universities here, King, King Saud University, and non-profit organization, Arab Nash, uh, Nutrition Center. Also a private sector of Mars Mid uh, Middle, East, uh, Middle East. And that led to initiate uh, the al haraka Baraka, means like, a program, as we've said, it's a movement, it's a blessing at many schools in the Gulf uh, area, in the Gulf uh, GCC countries, including Saudi Arabia. Uh, so it's targeting the children uh, from uh, 12, uh, from six to 12 uh, years to focus on the adultness and also expanded somehow to the, uh, to, to the adults. Um, so the program has been popular for several years until it was stopped because of lack of continuous funding. Uh, it is worth mentioning that the uh, Al Haraka Baraka program was uh, subject to a pile of testing and evaluation by the developers. The evaluation was based on the students, their families, and their schools, teachers' attitudes, and the satisfaction with the program materials and activities. Also, to uh, enhance it, also, they have a strategy to combat obesity and promote physical activity in Arab countries. Uh, since we're all in Arab region, we have this common uh, elements. We, call, we have the, uh, the, the kind of the same or similar social determinant. We have the social, we have the culture, we have the environment. So I, it's been... Uh, uh, it's been kind of common if, uh, to have this in Arab countries. So the initiative was, uh, this, this strategy was approved by Arab Task Force uh, on Obesity Prevention and Physical Activity Promotion Meetings, which was held in Bahrain in 2010. And the strategy was, tent, uh, and was then sent to all Arab health ministries. Uh, it provides a useful guidelines for each Arab country to prepare its own strategy and action plan with the aim of prevent and control obesity and promote uh, physical activity and healthy eating. Uh, this strategy focused on, ex on expecting outcomes, objective indicator to measure the objective and actions needed to implement the strategy in nine target areas. Uh, this target areas included childcare centers, preschools, schools, university, primary health care, secondary care, food campaigns, uh, sorry, food campaigns, and food preparation in, uh, institutes, uh, media, public health benefit organization, and a workplace. Follow up with the future developments uh, of this strategy were, uh, were also included. Here is some picture like we will we like to share about the Saudi females starting part, like uh, participating in participating in physical activity uh, physical activity and the culture is being changed it's it's changing and not totally changed but I'm very op optimistic that the next few uh, decent uh, the statistic uh, will show a significant change on uh, the obesity and the physical activity in Saudi Arabia one woman. And finally, Saudi Arabian National Transfer, uh, Transformation Program of the Vision. It's one uh, of the, it's, it's very, uh, as, as I mentioned before, it's uh, one of the objective and the main objective uh, of the vision is to increase public uh, participation in a physical activity and, and sport as it's important to, uh, end over the, to, uh, to be achieved. Also, uh, as uh, the other uh, objective from level uh, 
2.1.3 objective is like a strengthen prevention against health threats. Physical, active, uh, physical inactivity and other unhealthy lifestyle behaviors are considered major threats uh, to the health of, Saudi, of the Saudi Arabia, being a major risk of NCDs. And to conclude, 